Carl and Lou here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life. GBHBell.com for sure, and it's track by track time. Also making a debut on this series. But a lot of debuts this year. Mm. Uh, it is a burial at sea. We are covering their self-titled album, A Burial at Sea. And they are, of course, an experimental post-rock band. Uh, and this album was released October 1st, 2020 via Moment of Collapse Records. I know this band, I've heard of this band. I wouldn't necessarily be able to identify a lot of what they do, mm. but their music, um, while I've not gone out my way to do it, it's always going to intrigue me. I like post. I like post-rock. I love experimentation. Put it all together. Fine, cool, mm. absolutely, and so on. Well, this album came with a problem, and that was someone bigging it up. Someone making a mistake of telling me basically... T- the, the, no, that. I, you did I, right no don't interrupt track. you one, did one right track. you ba- made a big thing about one specific track right mm-hmm. one specific track and kept saying that like, i would absolutely love it it'll be the best thing ever and stuff like that which kind of you kind of did big it up a little bit too Not much the whole album you did kind no. of say the old album yeah no i didn't say the whole album because at that point i had listened to it so that was a reason to to do the album to make me listen to the whole thing of it okay so I'd listen to that Tropic of Cancer like, well, like even times. still like even still I'd argue you kind of bigged that up a little too much which put a lot of expectations on me so I will admit here at the start that I was a little disappointed overall okay I only think it is a great album but I kind of thought I'd absolutely like I think I, I thought it'd be the best thing ever mm. and I think like in the world of post Rock, metal, experimental post-rock and metal. I think there are better bands, if I'm oh, honest. Oh, because maybe you listen to more than me, because I really... I do listen to a lot more of that kind of that, thing. Yeah. But um, I just... Yeah, but that's not to say I do not think they're, A, incredibly talented, mm. and this album isn't, inc- isn't like, an amazing album. It is a mm. great album. Mm. So I'm not disputing that. Like, I, I don't want that to get confused. It's me just saying, look, it ain't the best thing ever. And that's tr- even that's if my fault, yeah, because I, I was just that one song. I and I, I think, it, yeah, and we'll get to that at the end. And I've obviously, you know, I've got a fair bit yeah. of saying it and stuff like that. But that's kind of it. Maybe, mm. like I said, that, that, that's the cut that I will admit I had a mindset going in. Mm. So when I kind of finished it and was like, yeah, it's great. And I really like a lot of it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They are, they're, they're playing it the whole thing next year, the Boston Music Rooms. It was supposed to be last couple of few weeks ago. But for some reason, they've moved it to May next year. So As of the time of recording, yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so May 2024, they're doing the whole okay. thing. So I guess there's a popular album then, yeah. um, but I, I don't I know. I think they've got. From, they're from, is it? They're from Ireland, yeah, this is like their debut. Oh, 2020, that might make sense. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, no, sorry, I didn't look any further into that. Okay, well, let's get into it, yeah? Because yeah. it, uh, it is a long album, I will say, as well. We mm. begin with intro, Dean's Deed. There's a long build-up here. Out of the silence. Uh, the melody is swelling nicely and a strong sense of peace and emotion running through it. An intro, but one that leaves an impression. Yeah, so it's a brief trumpet and sl- I call it space sounds. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I kind of felt it is. If that's what you're getting from it. It's your vibes. It. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then you go. we go into You Really Did Grow After All. Now the album has really started and straight away I can sense the post-prettiness that I often enjoy mm. so much. This one certainly has an experimental flavour, but not in a distracting way. I think there's a sense of despondency and hope in this one, as though you could feel both happy and sad listening to the melodies. Mm. It does have a more robust energy, but the latter part is all I'll remember from this. Okay. Um, I really like the intro to this one. I thought it was like a rich sound behind the trumpet and guitars. It is very oh, rich, yeah. Yeah, that's. I, I, I don't know what makes it, but it's really good. Um, nice building drums. I I like the drum beat during the more intense part, and the trumpet's used really well. It makes an impact in the last, last section of the track. Quite a solemn sound. Okay. Which I enjoyed. Breeze home. It's here the experimentation really takes hold, and a burial at sea get really weird with it. Uh, plenty of uh, plenty of, uh, and many progressive melodies, jazzy bits, erratic tone shifts, heavier switches, and plenty of feel-good vibes. It's very strange, but I kind of love it because of that. Mm. Um, that works for me. Mm. Yeah, but I can see it being not working for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, same. When I say yeah. like, oh, that's not going to be for everyone. Mm-hmm. But I like the, the track. Like the track title, it's a breezy intro. Mm. I was like, oh, breezy. The trumpet is upbeat and very soothing with the guitars behind. Uh, drum beat taking us into a different different section it feels very uplifting which i enjoy um i enjoy storytelling with no words so i say a few years ago i didn't really listen to much post stuff because i'm like there's no lyrics in it and i'm like how can you tell stories without well, and i'm now yeah, I'm like yeah now i'm like oh well yeah totally you can <laughs> Of 
course you can. Yeah, absolutely. But it was interesting to always find that. And I do think this is a good example of a band that can do some storytelling with just music Mm. and stuff like that. I mean, uh, but that that leads me back to the problem I said at the very start. Mm. Immediately, as soon as I said that on my head, yeah, but they're not like, uh, we lost the sea, are they? And stuff like that. Do you see what I mean? Even though I think like Burial at the Sea, while it helps they share a lot in common, they're also a different... Kettle of fish completely as well. It's like I've got like some, I've got fr- like three absolute like, like ones on rotation quite heavily at the moment. Okay, of things, let's yes, yes. track by track. Yeah. Let's not get distracted yes. and stop talking about uh, we lost to sea. Yeah. Nice from afar, far from nice. Uh, now that I've now that I have a handle on what this band is capable of, this one doesn't feel like too much of a surprise. Mm. However, the burst of energy is still a bit of a shock for me. I was like, oh, where did that mm. come from? There's some energetic and heavy progressive flair. Here, it is a bit of an epic with some lovely melody switches too. Mm. Uh, jangly guitar start, stuttery beat that is mirrored in the drums later on. It has a nice, it's nice chunks of richer sounding parts. The band had now know how to do a nice build and the end faster guitars and drums is great. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, score us and teach. I do like that most of the tracks are short or at least shorter than you might expect for music mm. like this. So I think that's something that works in their favor mm. is it would have been very easy to go wandering here. Mm. And there is wandering stuff. I was still about, okay, it's cool that you're kind of keeping this stuff mm. more compact and tighter, you know? Mm. Um, which was cool. That This is under four minutes. And that is welcome at this stage. I appreciate the warm melody that has laid for it, some fat slice of weirdness. Hmm. I was trying to work out if that word, if that was like a, an Irish thing, because they're okay. Irish. I was like, it's Screos, like an Irish thing? I didn't know. Uh, more frantic pacing to this one. The swells are great. And it feels like a tough part of the journey home, which is what it made me feel like. The chord. This is hilariously weird and I'm here for it. Even then, it is amazing that it has such a moat of heft. It has got such a unique vibe, sunny and bright, but also moody and atmospheric too. It is one of the most challenging tracks overall, but one of the best because of that. In fact, I'm going to go as far as to say this is the best track on the album. This is this is um, this is insane. I think this is weird beyond weird, and that fascinated me. Yeah, Um, I really like the twinkly guitar effect at the end. That's what I listen out for, little things like that. Um, Yeah, which makes me happy. They've got a great way of just. Okay. I don't know. That's why I've been put on rotation so much. This one's like the one I did the most on. but yeah, not the, it's not my favourite on the, on the album. Obviously, so, yeah, yeah, we already gave away things. that at the start, didn't you? Uh, lest we remember, things are getting longer, and with that, things are getting more expensive. This is a brilliant blend of subtle melodies, brash experimentation, burgeoning atmospheres, and an emphatic finale. Um, just another lovely track. I don't think I dislike any. I don't think yeah, I don't think there's anything to dislike here. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I'd take any off. I like the twang of the piano, and it like just it really soothes my brain. The crescendo is lovely. Um, it's not what I don't think it's the strongest on the album, but I still really enjoyed it. Penultimate track is Lightning Blanket. This is up there as one of the moodiest tracks of all, and one of the heavier efforts from the band. It's a track that oozes emotion and power, and I do love the vocals in it when it switches to melody. It's very touching. Mm, I really like this one. Nice dramatic start to this one, then very dreamy guitars. Uh, the only the only bit of lyrics on this album. Mm. which I like and it's like a sing-along chorus about home and I really love that yeah it's almost um, a completely instrumental album almost yeah and yeah. it's just like there's one one song that goes da 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 and that's all they do and then this part and this one um, the build of the drum, drums and the trumpets feels like a celebration um, I listen to this on long walks and it's really it just fits it so well it's amazing yeah and that brings us to Tropic of Cancer the big duck track expecting mm. so much at nearly 10 minutes long it is no surprise that this one is grand mm. not only that it is no surprise that it's filled with all manner of emotion it is downright beautiful mm. a bright and brilliant blend of post rock and experimentation and no stage does it bore building a unique listening experience across its runtime considering what the album has offered up to this point it is quite something that this track exists it almost feels like too much I love it mm. Um, 
The final track and a fitting way to end. Nice peaks and changes in tempo. Um, like little chapters. I love the echoey guitars. And when the guitars come in, it's like waves. The last bit of the trumpets is my favourite. And I've listened to this track so many times. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. It is a very, very impressive track mm. to have. And uh, uh, a nice surprise, particularly as well, considering the heft of what's are around it. You know, I, I, I hope I ex what I said at the start and then clearly what I've said as we've talked through it. You know, if you're the kind of person who, who heard what I said at the start and then immediately jumped in the comments without listening to the words actually from the track by track, you're probably saying nasty stuff in the comments as yeah. if I've slammed this band. I don't. I think they're incredible what they do. That's mm. all it is. Um, and hopefully I'll express that through track by track, the track by track itself. I, I haven't really got anything negative to say. And each of these tracks, are, most of these tracks are phenomenal mm. pieces of work. Mm. Yeah, you know, I will look out for them. I would be interested to see this played live, as you say, in full and stuff like that. Next May. Next May in uh, sort of time recording. Mm. Top three tracks, so three tracks to recommend, and uh, it's straightforward for me, it's pretty easy, it's the ones I've been most positive about. We've got Tropic of Cancer, obviously, mm -hmm. I've got The Chord, I really enjoyed that one, and Breeze Home. Oh, okay, I went for, you really did grow after all, Lightning Blanket and Tropic of Cancer. There you go, well that's obviously, that was always going to be there anyway. Yeah. So a wide array uh, to check out there, mm -hmm. I'm warning you now, if you do decide to check out the whole album, and uh, it may not be for you, the experimentation, the post rock is heavy, mm -hmm. heavily you know, present, it is what it says on the tin. Normally you get genre like placement and so they're all vague nowadays because yeah. and people don't really stick in them, they cross over to things and all this. This being called experimental post rock, mm. that is it. That yeah. is that is it. That is exactly what it is. Mm. It is a burial at sea debut album, self titled A Burial at Sea. You got any thoughts and you know what to do? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at GBHBL. Just search for GBHBL and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.